Oh, jeez. Um, well, there is a shiny. Anything else? Um, obviously they want us to go towards the shiny. Yeah, so Mikado just got added. Pretty much exactly where I thought he would be added. Likes, curry, and trendy things. Yeah, trendy things, that sounds about right. And, uh, whatever's trending. Trendy things, that's... And you like curry? Girls manga. What about boys manga? Wait, has that always been there? Oh god, I never realized. Ultimate hope. That's not a real title. Mm. Uh, dislikes dried mackerel, dried bean curd. Blood type A. Oh, same blood type. How good, how lucky. <laughs> Microwave meals. <laughs> what? Former student host Big Academy and older brother Kamaru Nagi. By defeating the ultimate despair during the school killing incident, uh, he earned the title Ultimate Hope. It's not a real title. Nagito's a better hope than you. I really, I so badly, I need this in my life. These guys have to talk. It has to happen! At some point, in this game, in the anime, if, if this guy comes back to life, um, I don't know. He, he could, it's possible. He is ultimate bullshit. Um, almost as bullshit as Junko's breasts. Um, these guys need to talk. If this does not happen at some point in this series, they're wasting such an opportunity. Because they have this, they share a voice actor in both languages, so they had better fucking do it at some point. Anyways. Walk towards the shiny. What do we got? Probably a trap, but let's see. Oh yeah, totally a trap. <laughs> What's the shiny thing on your chest? Oh, it's a girl! Glow stick? Uh, hold on! How do we get out of here? Follow the beacon? Well, at least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. Oh, she's gonna stick that in her butt. Little brat! I'm, I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place! Just like her butt gun. Let's try following her footprints. You stick everything important in your butt? When do we get the cutaway that shows this paint. The hacking gun can see it, right? When do we get the cutaway that shows us the other kids? Cause I was I've been waiting for that, really, honestly. I've really been waiting for that. Well, let's follow the footprints. Dark. So dark. Oh hey, a present. Let me out already. Where is it? 120, nice. Let's take a quick look around the room, see if I can see anything else. Not really. Where are the footprints again? Wait, where'd they go? Oh god, I think I lost the footprints. Oh, another present. Wait, no, that's the same one? Uh, okay, just get my barons. There's the footprints. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why do you keep fucking this up? There are the footprints. Follow them. Don't lose them. Wait, wh wait a second. Am I am I am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, because the footprints are, are leading me this way. It looked like they were leading me into a wall, though. Maybe not. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just uh, take them one at a time. Oh God, you turned. That makes things off. And you turned this way. Kamari's big fat head is getting in the way. This makes this is when a first-person perspective would be more useful. Oh, hi there, Monokuma. That surprised me. I thought it was a Monokuma. No, I saw the orange right away. Any uh, presents hiding around? I think I see a shiny in the distance. I thought I did. Anything? No? Oh. Oh, shit. Right there. What, I can't get it from this far away? Lamer. Uh, where are the footprints? Where'd the footprints go? There they are. Okay, I'm not gonna go this far. I know... Where is it? Where's the shiny guy? I know there was a shiny guy. I see you. I'm gonna walk towards you. I'm gonna ignore everything else. Oh my god! If you're there, I could really use a flashlight! There we go. 
So I gotta be able to come back to chapter two at some point, both because their base is there and also because I miss Nagi stuff, but Oh fuck, you're in the way. Stupid partition. Wait, how do I get there? Footprints are going this way. You're begging God for a flashlight, that's funny. And uh, purple plus purple equals purple. Where'd the footprints go? This way. Wait, wait, what? What did they do? I'm following them, right? What? How do I get through? No! No! I don't understand. I have to go around, I have no choice. I'm looking around for something to attack, there's nothing. So I have to go around? Just around the pole. And now can I get over there that shiny thing? Footprints? They went that way. And then they walked along here. Okay, but how do I get the shiny thing? That's what I want to know. I can't leave yet. I gotta get that shiny thing. And they go off in the distance. But I just want the shiny thing. Fuck you. If I close my eyes, will I not be able to tell it's dark anymore? Oh, just a fucking! Oh no, I did this thing again. I did the thing. I did the fucking thing again, where I, I, I freaked out and I held down this, and this happened. Can I turn that off, actually, real quick? Just a second. Um, I have to do this actually. Uh, use touch pointer. No. Oh, hey, I got a trophy, yeah, okay. Now, if I do that, nothing happens, I'm good. Yeah, that's why you want to not have it on sometimes. Anyways. The fuck? Neko Neko Maru? Wait. But Neko Maru is in Danganronpa 2. Real name, Grand Boy Cherry Ludenberg? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my gosh! That's amazing! Oh, I hope this guy's alive. I don't want him to die. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down and get too close, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. Fitting, because Celeste died by, well, she died by a fire truck, but might look like a cat, but cat food doesn't work, so pick the right food. Yeah, because Celeste's cat would be picky. Oh my god, really? Holy shit. Neko Neko Maru. Any re uh, no relation to just plain Neko Maru, I guess? That's so perfect. That is so perfect. I gotta get that back to What's-Her-Face right away. I, I really want to find this cat. Uh, it'd also be nice to see if any of the others have been found yet, but I really want to find this fucking cat. Anyways, um, follow the footprints again. Oh, right, I gotta go around. This, this shit's confusing. Uh, no, I can't go around this way. I gotta go around the long way. Wait, is there another shiny thing? Did I see a shiny? I thought for sure. Well, there's some footprints, so I must be doing something right. Wait, there's also a Monokuma. Oh, does that mean there's a Monokuma there? Was that the Monokuma that I ran into? Alright, let's avoid that then. Oh, there's another shiny in the distance. Let's be careful. Wait, who's she? Oh! Oh, oh, the kid. Right. Well, we're gonna follow the footprints anyways. Oh, Monokuma. Where? Where? I don't trust this. Shit. 
It says there's a Monokuma right there. Where are the footprints? Where'd they go? Shit, where'd they go? God, I don't want to fight a Monokuma. I can't see it. How do I react to it? Oh no. Can I do a wide girth around it? Just a nice, a nice wide girth, a nice wide girth. Oh god, look at it. Oh, 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 oh. God, best jump scares, right? Oh my god, a nice shot at it. Oh, that's the kind of jump shit, jump scare, nightmare sh fuel shit. Oh god. Man, it's like they're a lot more effective when you run into them in the dark and you have one heart. That's also a part of it. That's a big, that's a really big part of it, actually. I have one fucking heart. Oh, again, it's the same fucking cage. I'm stopped by the same thing. Okay, where are these fucking footprints? Let's actually follow them now. Okay, we're following. This time we're not going to let the Monokuma symbol scare us because we've dealt with the Monokuma. I hope. Anything else running around? Why do I hear a Monokuma? I swear I hear a Monokuma. Fuck it, just follow the things. Don't freak out. I turn- OH GOD FREAK OUT FREAK OUT FREAK OUT! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh my god, I'm getting these nice shots in the dark, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Can I have one heart this whole goddamn time? Oh, and I keep losing the footprints. There they are. Um, wait, I'm going this way then? I get turned around every time I have to fuck scare myself because these Monokumas. Okay. So we're still missing somebody related to Sakura, somebody related to Hifumi, Byakuya, Toko, and then maybe Kyoko if there is anybody. I'm gonna go get this. Pick up. Shh, I'm tired of this. I should go inside the washing machine and get some sleep. Ah! What the hell are these sock things about? What is the point? Anyways, where where the footprints go? God damn it, I lost them. This section's fucking. Blah. I just want to get through it. I'm sick of the jump scares and the one HP. I mean, I wouldn't even I wouldn't mind that much having one HP if I could see where it was going. The Monokuma's in front of my face. Oh wait, I can't. There's another obstruction in my way. Okay, just go around. It's simple. Just go around. Hmm. There you are. Right there. Found you. Got you. You. I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? To tell me. Serves her right. Wait, hold up. And again, her nearly dying when other characters have died from less. Obviously, that was a trap. I don't know. Toko just showed the signs of a like showed similar signs to freaking what's her face. Uh, what's his face? I mean, sorry, it's because Jahira mix up. Jahira's father was getting all excited and then died. Um, and Toko got excited in a similar way, but only got a door slammed in her face because she's too important. This is the kind of thing that bugs me. And then, you know, um, uh, what's her face? Kamara is right next to the door, and the explosion happens, and she doesn't die. She also didn't die earlier when she fell from the plane. Um, it's like, why are you not dying? I don't understand. You're only not dying because you're a main character. That's what I'm getting from this. You already have the gun to help you out, to bullshit you. You don't need more bullshit on top of that. Toko. Toko. Oh! Are we in Toko's mind? Hey, Toko. There's no way Bianca's actually here, is he? You better listen well. Yeah? If you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to combat this. Black doesn't have a color. Black's not, got a, not a color. 
You would know this, Bianca. It's probably because it's Toko's mind. She doesn't realize that. It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Yes, do the laundry like usual. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. What? Oh, yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. Okay. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. I don't like this. I, know, I don't like any of these. You get better at doing laundry. I mean, that's good. You're actually washing your clothes, which is, I think you said you didn't really do in the first game, but... I mean, there's better ways to grow. I mean, that that that's a start, I suppose. And there's the sperm. Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect livestock master. Uh. Don't go get a hold of yourself! And so what was the point of that explosion? It didn't kill anyone. There was nobody to drop a bridge on that was unimportant. Well, a uh, bridge got dropped, but we're important characters, so neither of us died. Almost literally a bridge got dropped. We found the emergency exit, but it's blocked. Yeah, if you couldn't if you really couldn't tell it was a trap when there was a kid leading you to it. I mean, come on. You're the ones who're supposed to have a Toko, you're the one who's supposed to have a sense for these things, right? When there's a, they're actually dangerous. Like, is it just cuz it was there's darkness and you're really scared of the darkness, you're not thinking straight? I mean, what the fuck? Brat, she betrayed us. A little more, and I would have blown up. What do you mean she betrayed us? She's one of the kids. Why would you think she'd be on your side? It only counts as a betrayal if she was pretending to be on your side. I'm pretty sure she was never pretending to be on your side. Therefore, there was no betraying going on. I don't think she was our ally from the start. Yes, exactly. And where's your vindictiveness? I feel like you had the vindictiveness, and it's not there anymore. Is it just a slow build and it's gonna come back later on with Utsuki and then maybe really start to build? I don't know. Sh shut up! This is your fault! Why is it my fault? Hmm, why not? She doesn't like blaming things on herself, so she blames it on other people. Sounds like Toko to me. You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens! I think contacting Future Foundation was a good idea. It let her know her brother was alive, something you never did. Fuck you, Toko. Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap. Take some responsibility. I bet you take some responsibility. You're the one who said that if there's a will, there should be a way, and I'll also take some responsibility for never telling her about Makoto. If you did that, maybe you could skip the whole contact with Future Foundation and know that again, if you told her about Makoto, she'd want to even more probably to contact them, but still. Responsibility? This is your fault, if anything, Toko. Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses. I don't want to hear your excuses. You're the one who got on uh, the bad side of the Toa guy. Granted, he overreacted about the Future Foundation thing, but if you had actually cooperated with him, maybe we could have came in with some other people, maybe, and then we wouldn't have potentially been trapped in the situation. Or maybe there would have been more mooks to have bridges dropped on them just now, but I don't know. I just need some light, yeah? Light! More light! More light! Great. Hmm. Well, at least we got one of these. And there is a bit more light going on. Heart would be nice. I mean, that helps, but, you know. Oh, over there. The light's coming through. Maybe you can break that part. I don't know what you're talking about, but I do see a shiny. Children's Paradise Commandments 3. If you have something on your mind, share it with the children around you. Don't get involved in other people's business, like making fun of them for reading manga. Oh, hey, that's a good rule. I like that. Yeah. Other people can be jerks sometimes. Share with the children around you. Don't ever try to remember what life was like with the demons. Mmm. That's, that's, that's iffy. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer, uh, stunned under the kotatsu in summer. Ow. Stuffed under the kotatsu in summer. Oh, okay. So you're saying the main character, Persona 4, uh, would have broken one of those rules. Also, if that's all the punishment was, I mean, I think they can deal with that. This seems like the lightest punishment. I mean, you went through that, and you didn't suffer that badly. If anything, didn't that make them feel better? I don't know. Or no, that was in winter. 
You're talking about stuff done to Kitatsu in summer. I guess that's a bit worse. All right, we're just gonna. Um, where's the dance button? No. I see. Well, let's just do this uh, second first, same as the first. Well, as long as Toko's the only one who dies. Because she's the one who's really immortal. Toko's the one who's really immortal. Like, if Kamara gets hurt, she actually takes damage. But no, Toko is fucking invincible. She's the tails of this game, I guess. That seemed more like a frightened ah uh, than a happy ah, uh, but okay. Are you okay? She's never okay. No, I'm just happy. Don't seem happy. It seems like a frightened ah. Uh. Well, you didn't have to scream about it. Well, it's more than you do when you're happy. You're just like oh, and then you get depressed right again, anyways. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But. Now what do we do? We go fight Utsugi. Little ultimate bad voice actor. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Little sorry. Little sorry, get it? Lil? Uh. uh. I'm sure there's a way to get down. So, where's this obligatory save hmm. point? So, we really don't get any, uh, cutaway to the kids this time? I thought that would happen every single time. I'm surprised it it's not. It looks like the one in the top left. Oh, for a second I'm like the one in the top left looks like it's almost filled in, but that's just because of the light from the break. But it's not definitely. The bottom two look the same as the top left one. It's just it looks like I could do it, like the one between these two, but I can't. It just looks like that when I'm on break. Like there's almost some light to that. Anyways, let's start with this. Super precision shot. Didn't I already have regular precision shot and I didn't like it? Decreases laser slight move speed. But I don't want to decrease it. I don't. Oh! Yeah, because I have quick fire skill. Oh, so having both these on at the same time is pointless. It just depends on what you prefer. I definitely prefer quick fire skill. Increases laser slight speed. Yeah, I'm the kind of guy who likes the speed more than that. So, are these all the skills? That would be lame. That What's the point of the level even going this high in that case? I mean, unless 26 is the max. Which, I believe it's not, because if I look at this... Yeah, it can still go up, so... I'm assuming there's more skills to get, and it just starts getting a scroll wheel. Uh, so high up. So scary. Calm down, you scary cat. No, we don't. We're important. We can't die. We're not Chihiro's father, or Yuta, or anyone who's not us. Yeah, the plot armor is really hurting right now. It's really hurting me and my balls right now. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? Eh, who cares? You only live once. Well, that's, that's actually a reason to not do it. If you lived more than once, it'd be more of a reason to do it, I feel. Yellow doesn't really work in that sense, does it? Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. That's your opinion. I go up first, you go down first. At least you're being consistent. Man, the way you climb ladders is so wonky. 